Hello my darlings. So it's been an ungodly amount of time since I've made a video, particularly on this channel and sort of on the other channel as well. Uh, sorry I had a break because I wasn't feeling very well. Now the last thing I recorded before this break was some stuff on an apron tutorial, like a tutorial on how to sew an apron. Actually this apron here to be precise. <laughs> So before I so I sort of recorded some stuff of the tutorial, but not everything I needed. So I'm gonna have to record some other stuff. So excuse me while I refer to my notes. Now I had a plan with my sewing tutorials and all that. I decided that I was only going to use second hand or secondly like resourced materials. This is both a planet saving thing and a money saving thing for me. So I'm not gonna go to any fabric stores. I'm not gonna buy any new fabric. I'm only gonna find use fabric I can find at like garage sales and stuff like that. So we were making this apron here. It's got the fabric I got from my mum. It was actually, she got it from garage sale. It's blue with yellow polka dots. It's very, very cute. Although I wish that this was slightly lower and this was slightly narrower. But other than that, it's very, very cute. There is towel in the middle up there, as well as down there. Now that will give me extra heat absorption so if I can get stuff out of the oven, if you know what I mean, using the things of the apron to grip as well as, you know, splash resistant, I can get a bit of water, I mean it won't make me soaked. Well, I actually made this to sell on eBay, so therefore I made a matching, well I made a matching bag for it to go in and it also has a little pot holder type thing out of the same fabric. Yeah, I'm going to iron them up all nice and pretty and then send them off on eBay. The thing, the reason I'm selling them on eBay is just so that I can try and raise money to buy a new camera, because I do a lot of uh, makeup tutorials with my camera and my camera doesn't kick up colour properly, and that is a major problem. So I'm going to upgrade my ca um, camera. I need $215 to get the camera I want. Now the camera I want will be able to do okay makeup tutorials and excellent vlogs. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. It'll be a step up in all worlds, but it won't be perfect for um, uh, makeup tutorials. If I wanted a camera which was perfect for makeup tutorials, it would be far and away outside my current budget. So you know, sacrifices where sacrifices need to be made, sorry. This trapezoid shape at the top, which has two fabric pieces and one cherry toweling piece. There should be a really bad image paint picture there, telling you the measurements. And then there's this sort of, it's almost trapezoid-ish, it's slightly smaller at the top than it is at the bottom, but I curved it along the sides for that, you know, womanly hip thing. Two sheets of fabric and one sheet of toweling. Then there is two sheets of this band here, sewn fa facing each other, goes around the side. Two bands to go over the shoulders. I sort of fold it around there and just sewn down. Um, I also found I couldn't actually show myself cutting them or sewing them because the camera is currently on a very stable tripod. I can't really pick it up and carry it around with me so easily, but I'm going to fix that soon. I can buy a cheap little tripod. So next tutorial should hopefully be better. So unfortunately the entire tutorial is just me coming up here and showing you what I did. You don't get to see me doing it as I'm doing it, if you know what I mean. That's unfortunate. It's something I didn't want to do, but it's something I just had to do. Sorry. So on with the dumbass tutorial. Boo! Now I've cut out all my pattern pieces, which you should see behind me. And now I'm going to begin work on the top piece for my apron sewing. Now the widest part on this trapezoid shape, that's going to be the top of the apron. What I've done is I've just sewn a straight line with the right sides together of the fabric. And then the center piece, which is the terry toweling, I've just sewn a straight line. Now I'm going to trim back that terry toweling. Cutting! Okay, snip, 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 snip. And then I've trimmed back the terry toweling. What I'm going to do from here is I'm going to fold over the, um, outside fabric. And I'm going to sew it down along there and then down along the sides. Sewing! Alright, now I've sewn, turned the thing over and I've sewn it across the top which gave me this nice neat edge there. And then I've sewn down the edges of the sides of these. Now what's that? You don't need to worry about neatening up these edges because they are going to be concealed behind the strap which goes over your shoulder. So that's that pretty much done until it's ready to all be sewn together. Actually no, I'm going to get started on that strap. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in half and iron. Now we've all ironed in a crease along that side there. We're going to fold in these edges here. They sort of meet in there and then iron again. How thick do I want these straps? Even fold them in half. 
I think I will. I'm going to fold them in towards that crease we just ironed in, then iron them down flat and then fold them over again. So what you're left with is a strap like this. What we're going to do with that is we're going to pin that down there, sew it up and out, and then continue that out. You just sew it at the end. Don't need to worry too much about tidying up the end of this because that will be sewn underneath the other strap. Although it would be best if you turned that end in and then sewed over it. So I'm going to iron that piece there. And we're going to fold this in and under. We're going to sew that all the way around. So that then you've got a really nice strap going up the sides. Sewing! Now ignore the fact that it's obviously much, much later and I'm wearing a different outfit. But I've finished sewing on the top straps to the top part of the apron. So there it is, nice and thick. And it just drapes across there. Got that done, ready to be sewn onto the bottom. I've just started preparing the bottom of the apron. Now I'm going to do to the sides of this apron the same thing which I did to the top. Sew them all, straight stitch down the edge, and it goes right sides together, the two fabrics, and then the towel on the outside. Both edges, then turn it inside out, and I'm going to leave about that much at the bottom unsewn so that I can hem it up. Both edges, and then I'm going to turn it inside out, and then I'm going to sew down this edge with top stitching. Oh, I'm sorry, and then I'm going to trim the towel, and then I'm going to sew down the edge with top stitching. And it will come out a lot like the top of this did. Sewing! Cutting! Snip, 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 snip. Sewing! Alright, now I've sewn down the sides of these, just like I did with the top. And like I said, I left a couple of inches bare at the bottom. And what I did with that couple of inches, I trimmed away the um, fabric and a layer of the terry toweling. That way I can fold this over and then up and create a little hem at the bottom. Which I'm just going to iron in now. There you go. Now I've got this folded and ironed and pinned flat. That way when I sew it down, it's going to have a nice, cream, clean, crisp edge. Sewing! Somehow I managed to lose the piece of footage where I explained that I was about to start this band here, which is the band which has two pieces, one on either side, and it encloses and it like keeps inside the top, sorry, the top piece and the bottom seat piece inside it. I also managed to lose the bit where I sewed on the Velcro at the back. By the way, this Velcro at the back compared to ties, so much more convenient to put on and off. Like seriously, like I'm not that great at tying ties at my back. I'm even worse at getting them undyed with those tie-up aprons. I usually stand there for ages like fiddling with the back and then somebody else has to come along and tie me out of the thing because I just can't get those knots undone. So Velcro was a deliberate choice. Very glad I went Velcro. Would not go any other way. What I've done now is I've placed the two fabrics right side against the wrong side and then I've folded them and then I've ironed them. That way both of the right sides are folded towards the centre and that way when I sew them together both will be about the same size so that then they'll sit right and look good. I've turned around one of the um, straps so that they're now pointing each other with the rough edges in and I found the centre of that and I found the centre of both the top and the bottom of my um, apron and I'm just going to pin them together. Now I've pinned the top and the bottom of the apron into the centre of that ribbon and I'm going to sew it along the top and along the bottom. This way, both front and back, there's no ugly edges showing and it's really attractive. Rawr. Sewing! And then I've sewn that down. Now all that is left is to sew this in place on the back of the straps. Either do this by having somebody pin them in the right place on the back strap for you or just with trial and error trying to figure out what the right spot for you is. Just pin them up, try it on, see how it looks and then just sew the straps in place. And there we have our apron. And then that is it. I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, this video is going to end up being posted on Craft as well as on YouTube and I'll try and link it from the eBay. And um, like I said, I'm only eBay. I'm not like trying to scam you guys for sales. The link will be in the YouTube description, not the Crafter description. So if you're on Crafter and you really want to follow the link, then you have to go to YouTube and then follow it. I made it long and complicated for you guys because I want you guys to learn how to sew it. I don't want you guys to buy it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Like I'm not begging people to bid on my stuff at all. Like, if you don't want it, somebody will. And if somebody doesn't want it, then I want it. It's pretty. 
Anyhow, I love you all. I hope you're entertained. Um, any hints, tricks, any hints and tips you can give me about how to make this better? That would be really, really, really wonderful. Um, if there are any tutorials you guys want me to do, and if I'm able to do them, leave me a comment in the YouTube description, and I'll see if I can get to it. And I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Mwah. Good night. Ugh, itch. I'm not picking it, I'm just scratching it.